to SEAI, Social, Emotional, Artificial Intelligence. I'm ready to help you out today. Earlier this year, grade 7 student Imran Alarakia participated in a stress management group called TRAILS. During those months, I felt extremely relaxed at school and I was enjoying my time. And I thought about how not all students have access to these mental health groups. With his knowledge of social robot technology, he began creating a helper robot. This project is basically using um, five convolutional neural nets in order to figure out the emotions someone is feeling by um, detecting face, all the different parts of the face, and the action unit system to identify how the position of certain parts of the face correlate to emotions. Stationed beside a computer, the robot helps during moments of stress, like when studying or taking exams. If you see that you're feeling stressed out or angered for a long period of time, it'll be like, hey, I see you're angered. Do you want some help? And then if it gives them the feeling that, oh, this guy wants to help me out. And if they choose to get the help, they can get um, a nice video playing, maybe some nice music to play, maybe a breathing exercise website pops up, and it's all up to them. Meanwhile, grade 8 Anthony F. The Miatis tackled a problem he discovered when his grandfather went to the doctor. The doctors thought that he had basal cell carcinoma and he had to go get a skin biopsy. They had to cut it out, it was bleeding, and there was a risk of infection. And I thought, well, you can see this. There must be spatial differences between uh, a cancerous lesion and a non-cancerous one. And knowing that I have training in artificial intelligence and programming, I developed the idea to create an artificial intelligence model that can detect cancerous lesions through non-invasive imagery. He obtained a Harvard medical data set of images of cancerous and non-cancerous lesions. And on over 1,000 images, I trained the computer to recognize cancerous lesions over time. It would identify spatial differences between cancerous lesions and non-cancerous ones. And I did this through Python programming, so coding, calculus and linear algebra concepts. And the combination of all those things is what allowed me to reach 100% uh, accuracy over time as I developed and refined my algorithms. In total, he earned nine awards, including third best in fair, of which he's the most proud. So I stood on a podium with two high school seniors, and it, it, was, it was really nice to be, to receive an award with people a lot older than myself. He intends to continue working on this project and extend it to other types of skin cancer. People who are either of low income in remote or rural areas and other marginalized communities may not have access to skin biopsies and this technology can really help improve the accessibility of early uh, skin cancer detection for all people. Best of luck to all Halton students who will be heading to nationals in Edmonton next month. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.